couple of very interesting situations happened at this year's Welsh Open. Starting with the situation when Ronnie O'Sullivan's tip came off. And he had to take a 15-minute break to replace it. Would you believe it? His tips come off. Tips come off. Then, in the next frame, it happened again. Eight. You can see his frustration. I think it's come off again. Won't be using that super glue again. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I mean, he's played this with a lot of force, but a lot of sort of, you know, left-hand side. And there you see the tip just flying off. So. It's clear that oh, Ronnie wasn't in an optimal mood when the referee warned him after the second foul. If I call him this again, really? you'll lose the frame. Why? Yeah, Ronnie's asking why. I mean, if she's giving a free ball, well, which this. ball can he hit full in the face then? I thought she called free ball before. He decided to smash the balls and lost the frame. Well... I'm not sure whether he... Did, did you hit the, red, the pink then? Yeah. He hit the Far pink first, is yeah. Rosmio six. And the frame. Let's have a look, it was definitely pink. She said to him, if you don't hit a red this time, you forfeit the frame. And that's exactly what's happened. We've got a decider. Luckily, he still came out on top. Let's listen to what he said after the match. I said to the guy afterwards, if it comes off once more, I just have to just pull out because mm. I can't keep yeah. changing my tip every... Mm. You know, like five or six shots, you know, it's just not fair on your opponent, you know, or even the crowd. Or it never happened to me before, you know. You won't believe it, but in the next match, his tip came off for the third time. Oh, the tip's come off again, is it? Well, can you believe it? He contemplated retiring from the game, but his opponent showed great sportsmanship. Some people ask why snooker players don't bring a spare cue to the match. This is a detailed answer from Ken Doherty. Because water is organic, it was a living thing, you know, it's not like uh, graphite or carbon. The water, the ash or the maple, whatever type of water it may be, it's very sensitive, you know. So when you're used to playing with it, you, you sort of build up a sensitivity with that and the way it sort of plays and the way it might throw the cue ball left or right, whichever way, uh, side that you're imparting on the ball. So that's why we only carry one cue. Sean Murphy found his magical game and made consecutive 1 for 5 and 1 for 7 breaks. Quite remarkable. But as if this wasn't enough, he pulled off probably the craziest shot of the decade. Stay tuned for that. Then Mark Allen was interrupted two times on one <laughs> shot. First, it was a tape falling from the roof. Nothing special. But then, it was probably a truck reversing into the arena. <laughs> <laughs> this one was probably the funniest moment. Sean Murphy promised to moonwalk into the arena and he kept his word. If I'd get to a ranking final this season, I would moonwalk into the mm, arena. Like... <laughs> Not a bad moonwalk. Here, Mark Selby thought his opponent's fail was kind of funny. Well, uh, he hasn't reached the yellow. Oliver Lyons found an impossible gap between the reds. Oh, well, would you believe And some balls refused to stay on the table. Well, I didn't what? see that one, Darren, did you? This one from Milkins was the craziest one, so crucial in the context of the match. The red's close to the middle as he fluked it. Goodness me, he has Andy's moved the red off the side cushion. All right, let's move to the shots. Despite having the tip issues, seems like on this shot, the tip was all right. Well, we'd be settling for that. This is a typical Milkins. Schoolboy positional errors and recovering with crazy shots. Great shot. Very good shot from Mark Selby. Unfortunately, he lost to inform Milkins, who also had some rolls in his favor. Well, a messy shot is never easy, especially at long distance. Well, this is a tricky black. 
There was pressure on it. Oh, well. <laughs> oh. Purposely leaving himself low on the black, Sean Murphy had to finish the 1 for 7 match with a 5 railer. And here's the magician <laughs> just showing us a bit of class. It's a wonderful positional shot. There wasn't a chance this shot goes wrong for Milkins, same as the next shot. Well, it's not too bad. Great shot, that. All kisses and cannons just worked perfectly for him. And that's going to make him feel a little bit better. Tricky shot from Trump. He pots the red and develops another one. In between yellow and brown, is it? And the rest seems like a piece of cake for him. He couldn't fail at this type of shot, right? Looks absolutely perfect. What a shot! <laughs> Great shot. Oh. This shot is amazing. It looked like the cue ball would be stuck, but the red had other ideas. This pink is very, very tricky. Looks like the natural rolling trajectory brings the cue ball very close to the corner pocket. That's why he has to elevate the cue, which makes the shot ten times harder. Oh, well, what a shot that is. Great craftsmanship. Well, what an incredible steal from Mark Williams. What a four frames we've seen. It should be 4-0. In fact, it's two each. There's almost no angle on the green to go in and out of the balk. Probably he's the only player who could have played this shot from this angle. Pretty good. And perfect speed control to get on the black and clear the path for the yellow on the next shot. Needs that cue ball to keep running. It looks a good one to me. What a shot that is. Despite him not winning this tournament, it was Murphy who had all the flashy shots. Well, what a pop from Sean Murphy. That was incredible. I don't know many players that would have taken that on. His face shows what he thinks about it. Big puff of the cheeks from Sean Murphy there, almost kind of nonchalantly putting that black in. Uh... And finally, in our opinion, if it was intentional, it must be the shot of the decade. Bit of side. Bit of side. I told you it was a Although Murphy needed two snookers anyway and had very slim chances to take this frame. What a shot which uh, the crowd loves and Sean well, seems yeah. to be <laughs> I think we're doing him injustice, really. I think he played that shot. <laughs> as, as he said, I was the only way he could get back for the black, you know. But, but what surprised me then was that he didn't actually then go for the black. Mm. You know, I thought he, he had to at least play the black. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't that, after it wasn't that, that good. <laughs> Picked him up there. <laughs> I wasn't that, after it wasn't that, that good. <laughs> Picked him up there.